Good evening, and thank you for joining us virtually in celebration of the class of 2020. So many aspects of our lives are different right now as our local, national, and global communities are experiencing an unprecedented public health crisis. While we are certainly living, working, and doing school in new ways, it's important that we hold on to traditions like commencement, even if it looks and feels different this year. And not just because the class of 2020 is receiving congratulatory messages from famous actors, musicians, athletes, and even the former president of the United States. Though deep down, I know that each of this year's graduates is most excited about hearing from me, their favorite principal. Well, their only principal. I'm Nell Ballard-Jones, and I'd like to extend a warm welcome to the family, friends, loved ones, and teachers who have supported this year's graduates on their journey to this day. The years of encouragement and love, and the occasional, or frequent, pushing, pulling, nagging, and haranguing have paid off. We are here to celebrate. First up, we have messages from Dr. Jane Stavum, Superintendent, and the Lake Washington School District Board of Directors. Hi, I'm Jane Stavum, Superintendent of Lake Washington School District, and I want to congratulate the graduates of 2020 on your successful completion of high school. Normally, when we have graduation, we have a very grandiose ceremony. It's a time when we all come together to commemorate this milestone of graduation. But as you're aware, we're not able to do that this year, and we are sad about that. It represents a rite of passage and a time in your life that you've been anticipating for many, many years. But even though we aren't going to be able to celebrate with a graduation ceremony this year, I don't want that to diminish your sense of accomplishment in any way. Because graduation represents more than just the senior year of high school. It represents your entire career in school and all of the many accomplishments that you've had in and out of the classroom. It's a time when you look back and recognize all of those challenges that you faced and overcame. It's a time when we recognize all of the academic pursuits that you have been dreaming about furthering now as you go from high school on to the next part of your lives. It's also a time of celebrating with your friends and I'm hoping that you have found ways to do that with your friends and family because this is still a very, very special time. So I just want to extend my personal congratulations and I'm sorry that I won't get to shake each of your hands as you walk across the stage, but please consider this my heartfelt congratulations and wishes for you as you now leave Lake Washington School District and move forward into a very, very bright future. Congratulations to all of you. We have the distinct honor and privilege to welcome you to the Lake Washington School District's first ever virtual graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. And to the graduates, the Board of Directors of Lake Washington want to congratulate you on this exciting accomplishment of graduation. This is quite the milestone, especially at this time. It's a proud moment for all of us, but most especially for you and your families, as this has spanned over 12 years of education. As the class of 2020, you've accomplished what no other class has in the last century. You made it over the finish line during a pandemic that closed your schools and shifted learning to the virtual world. You displayed flexibility as you managed a new way of learning and perseverance as you finished core classes to earn your high school diploma. No curriculum could have taught you the lesson you learned this year, adapting and overcoming life's unexpected turns. Although we are not able to honor each of you in person, we recognize the dedication, perseverance, and sheer power of will it took for each of you to earn your diploma and walk across this virtual stage. You will write the next chapter in your life, taking with you many years of education, determination, and endurance. You will shape your future and no doubt the future of others. Congratulations on your many impressive accomplishments, class of 2020. Graduates. This evening, you're participating in a cultural rite of passage. Commencement represents a transition from childhood to adulthood. But before we congratulate you on being grown-ups, we're gonna take a look back at your journey to get here today and what you looked like along the way.
There's a poster in my office of civil rights activist Rosa Parks. The caption on the poster reads, it's the decisions you make in life that ultimately determine your destiny. Although there are many things in life we cannot control, each of us has the power to make our lives and our world better by the way we choose to live. Each of this year's graduates made a series of choices that led them to tonight's graduation. For some, the journey was tumultuous with wrong turns along the way. For others, it was relatively uneventful. Until, of course, mid-March, when things got bumpy for all of us. Whatever the journey looked like over the last several years, each of tonight's graduates made the choices to do what was necessary to meet the graduation requirements to be here this evening. Each member of the class of 2020 chose to be successful. The average person makes more than 200 decisions a day based on eating alone, what to eat, where, when, how often, how much, and on and on. Think about the scope of the decisions you make in a day, a week, a lifetime. Some conscious, like meeting the graduation requirements, and some unconscious, like putting on your socks when you got dressed this morning. I do hope you got dressed this morning. It's graduation day, after all. You're graduating at a time when the world looks and feels different than it ever has before. And although many of us are sad about the loss of what this day would normally look like, Please remember that there is so much to be hopeful for. It's okay to grieve the loss of an experience you expected but didn't get, but it's important that you remember all of the power that you have within you. You certainly cannot single-handedly solve a global pandemic, but you absolutely have the power to control how you respond. The decisions you make now about the people, places, and things that are most important to you can inform and influence a more meaningful life, and a better future. Think about what you want for that future. What decisions do you need to make to get there? Your potential is limitless. You are stronger than you ever imagined, and you have endless opportunities to make yourselves, your community, and the world a better place. Use your power, your choices, to ultimately determine your destiny. Please welcome our senior class speaker, Dahlia Godinez. Hello, friends and family, and welcome to the Emerson High School 2020 graduation from the comfort of your own couches. My name is Dahlia Godinez, and I've been going to Emerson since I was a sophomore. I originally didn't want to come to this school at all, and I was ready to switch back to my old school after my first month here. As you can see, I didn't end up going back, and I'm so thankful for my principal, Nell, who convinced me otherwise. Staying at Emerson turned out to be the best decision I could have made. All of us have our own unique stories and we have had many things to overcome. But what unites us today is that none of us ever gave up. One thing I learned about Emerson teachers is that they don't let you give up and they don't give up on you. For example, I'll admit, I wasn't the most punctual person and wasn't always in class in the morning. My teachers would go out of their way to check in on why I was in class. Like the many times Holly ran across the school searching for me because she knew I was there, or the time Justin ratted me out because I wasn't going to class and I really thought I could trust him with that information. Thank you, Nell, for always calling me in the morning when I would oversleep so I could somewhat make it to school on time. I learned to not give up literally every month at summative workshop when I would say, I think I'm gonna fail, but then I would end up writing up a plan with Tracy and being good to go to procrastinate again for the next month. I look back and realize that I've learned something so important, how to keep going, how to not give up. And when I think about my classmates, I admire how they persevered and how they kept going. I know they had their own struggle with school and with life, just as I did. But I look back and see they also never gave up. I definitely think there were times where we kept each other going too. But in this whole process, we have all developed our own ways of staying strong and to just keep going. Lots of support has been given to me by the teachers and students. I appreciate how every teacher takes time to build relationships with every individual student. The teachers at Emerson were the reason I liked school. I will always be so grateful for everything my teachers did for me, and I know my fellow grads can agree. I appreciate all of my classmates who have made this journey so much fun. We were in it together through the good times and the bad. It was an honor being a student here at Emerson, having the most supportive classmates and teachers out there. I will miss you all dearly and hope that sometime in the near future we will reunite.
Congratulations, class of 2020. You all have a special place in my heart. I wish you nothing but the best. It's now time for our departmental awards. This year, each department selected one student for outstanding achievement. In art, Willow Hayes. In business and leadership, Marco Gomez. English language arts, Sasha Kachadorian. Family and consumer science, Elise Clark. Math, Dahlia Godinez. Photography, Laura DeBorst. Science, Caroline Hahn. In social studies, Aspen Bufel. It's the time you've all been waiting for, the presentation of diplomas. For those of you who have never attended one of our graduations before, our tradition is that each of the teachers write a short description of the journey that each graduate has taken to this day. Enjoy. Our first graduate is William Sweeney. The first of his secret organizations was called The Warehouse. Since the age of five, William has been creating, writing, and developing world and building foundations for video game development. At an early age, he knew this was his career path and was committed to attending Full Sail University ever since. He's a master strategist. Completing his classes during summative week was like a puzzle to him. And he was always trying to figure out how to get everything done with less and less time available. He became an incredible leader and game nights would never have worked without him. He was part of every operation, getting pizza, snacks, drinks, setting up games and technology and everything else that had to come together. He has a dark sense of humor and a generous view of human nature. After school, you could sometimes hear him and Andrew going at it, some awesome verbal spats, arguing about a character or a book or a video game. It was nice to have someone who could match Andrew's intensity on a day-to-day -day basis. He may be most remembered for dealing root beer in Stephanie's class, perfecting his fried green tomatoes, and for being the kid that made the tank gingerbread house. And he was generous, always sharing those perfect fried green tomatoes with his teachers. He's passionate about what makes him happy, Halo and Overlord, and was one of the only students to assign Evelyn, the art teacher, summer homework, a list of must-see superhero movies that she had to watch. We have no doubt that this graduate will pursue his dreams. His English teacher, Andrea, only asked that when his book is finally published, we all get copies. Congratulations, William Sweeney. Elise Clark is our next graduate. Elise is the baked goods queen of Emerson High School. Even after she completed all of her graduation requirements earlier this year, she would still stop by from time to time and always with an assortment of home baked and decorated tasty treats. Elise first came to Emerson as a true ninth grader and has always brought her own special brand of fun to class. She has a wonderful sense of humor and a commitment to fairness and decency that is beyond her years. In addition to baking, she's an accomplished poet. She writes beautifully about a lot of really challenging topics. Her article on body image for her journalism class were some of the best high school writing her English teacher had ever seen. She stands up for people, even people who are not necessarily her friends, and even when she's scared to do so because it's the right thing to do. She would like to especially thank Dan Weiss, her science teacher, for appreciating her jokes and teasing her about them. She would also like to assure Stephanie, her English teacher, that she is not, in fact, a cannibal. She would also like to thank Evelyn, the art teacher, for letting her run with her inspirations in class. And for Tracy, she says there's simply too much to be thankful for. While the road was sometimes bumpy, we are so proud of all that Elise has accomplished and the growth that we've seen over the last four years. Congratulations. Next graduate is Tyler Kessinger. Tyler will be missed at Emerson in the future. 
His easygoing and positive personality have seeped into every part of the school during his tenure. The halls will also be noticeably quieter. Tyler is a loyal friend, loves dogs, and the Seahawks. While working at a local fast food restaurant, he was known to hold conversations with friends and teachers from behind the counter to the far ends of the dining area. This graduate is a born storyteller. He always is telling stories at school, during class, about anything. He talks of his experiences in Montana, his dog, some fictional concept he came up with the night before, and countless other topics that always seem to generate an audience. This creativity will take this graduate to Lake Washington Institute of Technology in the fall, where he will study video game design. Tyler's favorite part of video games is the story behind the game, no surprise. He says that creating the games will combine his love of gaming with his creative storytelling. One of his favorite quotes is from C.S. Lewis, you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. This really fits the approach that Tyler employed while at Emerson. He never dwells on the past and always seems to have a positive outlook on his progress. Even if there hasn't been much, he always knew that there would be. We are incredibly proud that he ultimately did change the ending to what could have been his story. First, by transferring to Emerson from a school where he was less successful, and second, by doing work necessary to arrive at this memorable day. Fire up a medium rare filet mignon, which is his favorite meal, to celebrate Tyler Kessinger. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Chris De Silva. Christopher has always been an inquisitive person. He's a thinker and a wonderful listener. He's a philosopher, an author, and a scientist, a true scholar. He always has an interesting new story, a surprising fact or something new to share. This is what we love about him. He's dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge, and he likes asking questions about how things work, what you think about them, and why. After a lot of contemplation on a topic, he will still seek more information in an effort to continue his learning. He thrives when he is able to build deeper connections across and between wide variety of subjects. He recently said, we live in a wild world. I make it a point to give my appreciation, but it's difficult to appreciate anything if you don't fully understand it first. So I'm dedicated to knowledge as both teacher and learner. Chris's advisor, Justin, recalls many great discussions around concepts in math, science, and philosophy, and how they apply to other aspects of the universe. His art teacher, Evelyn, says he's an incredible sculptor, carefully mastering the craft. And as many folks don't know, Chris is also a talented composer, and a unicyclist, too. Reflecting on his time at Emerson, Chris said, it has profoundly improved my life and every single staffer was crucial to making that possible. I owe every one of you for the significant impact on my life. He's very thankful for the support of his teachers, his family, and his good friend, Daniel. He would like to be remembered as someone who was invested in school, who put forth all of his attention and listened. Chris has been in full-time running start this year, and he will be continuing his education at Bellevue College in the fall. He plans to pursue further education in chemical engineering. Where there is a dream career for him, we certainly think this is appropriate. This young philosopher leaves us with a final thought. I admit nothing holds objective value. Eventually, time will turn it all to dust. But that doesn't mean that nothing matters. It means you can define value. Something matters because it matters to you. Shouldn't that be enough? Congratulations, Chris De Silva. Our next graduate is Lucas Zapone. Lucas came to us with the mission to graduate. He quickly adapted to Emerson with his easygoing nature and pleasant attitude. At first glance, he's just a big goofball. 
You could hear him laughing and joking, displaying his warm personality and contagious smile, never seeming to take anything seriously. In fact, his teachers always were worried that he wasn't staying caught up. But in the end, he got everything done and never had any doubt. He would always say, don't worry, I got it. When you really get to know him, you see all of his great qualities. Lucas is kind, caring, and funny, and he showed us an amazing character full of great spirit. He's confident and has unwavering belief that in what he can accomplish. He's overcome a lot of obstacles and struggles in his young life, but he puts it all in a great perspective by saying, it makes me who I am today. Now there was a time or two when he wasn't exactly where he was supposed to be when he was supposed to be there. In fact, he may have been in the halls more than the math teacher Justin, which is quite a rare feat. But he is very grateful for his short time at Emerson, appreciating the environment and loving all of his teachers. One of his favorite Emerson memories is simply getting to make food every day in cooking class with the boys. He's very thankful for the support of his girlfriend, his close friend Eric, and his parents. Lucas's teachers have said it's been awesome to see him grow into a confident, exceptional young man, one with an incredibly bright future. He plans on attending college in order to pursue a career in healthcare and a program in radiology technology and perhaps he will fit in some travel time too. In a very humble way, he simply wants to be remembered for being a nice, funny guy, and for sure he will be. Congratulations, Lucas Zappone. Our next graduate is Julian Reinhoud. This graduate came back to us after an extended break from high school and we could not be happier that he made that choice. Julian is a hard worker and talented thinker and always keeps his classmates amused and encouraged, even while sometimes frustrating his parents and teachers. <laughs> Julian is a budding intellectual. He loves complex and complicated music and science fiction and falling down internet rabbit holes about a myriad of topics from his psychology class. He can also be stubborn, which has been both an obstacle to and a facilitator of his success at different times throughout the years. Teachers suspect that his stubbornness may be Julian's ace in the hole as he works on his future. He's worked hard to confront things he wants to change about himself and his surroundings and has been successful, so we believe that he will apply those lessons and experiences of success to his future. Julian wants to especially thank Stephanie, Justin and Dan Kaufman for having a huge impact on his development and helping him find his own path in life. He says that his main goal right now is to be the best person he can be and to have control over his life and his mind and to write fiction that people find meaningful. A pretty good goal. Please congratulate Julian Reinhoud. Our next graduate is Hunter Williford. It's not easy to come back to high school after some time off, especially when working full time and living on one's own, but Hunter took the initiative to better his future and earn his high school diploma. After a full day on the job, Hunter would show up to night school where he was consistently hardworking and always arrived with a positive attitude, even after a long day of physical work. His politeness and maturity set a wonderful example for other students. Hunter is self-aware about himself as a learner. In his application to Emerson, he pointed out his strengths in science and history and expressed that he believed Emerson was the right place for him to finish because of its smaller and more individualized setting. By applying to Emerson, Hunter took the action steps he needed to be successful in his education. And we are so proud to present him with his diploma. Congratulations, Hunter Wilford. Our next graduate is Anna Gibbons. Anna has been a wonderful addition to Emerson High School since she joined us last year from a high school in another school district. We wish she would have joined our school community sooner because we've enjoyed having her so much. Anna is passionate about social justice and loves to learn. She is smart, curious, and committed to getting and being better. 
both for herself and the larger community. Anna has missed her Emerson friends so much since the school closure. She's been seen in the school parking lot meeting up with some of her classmates, socially distanced, of course. Who would have thought that she'd value the relationship she's built over the last years at Emerson so much that she would choose to come to campus when she didn't have to? In addition to her social side, friendly and kind, Anna is brave and competitive. As an accomplished alpine ski racer, Anna has traveled the world for international competitions. She loves to learn about current events and politics, and is an excellent speaker, listener, and writer of Spanish. Her government teacher, Stephanie, reports that Anna is always the first student to connect ideas to current events and to see the context and implications of what she's learning in real life. When she graduates, and when the global travel ban is over, Anna hopes to move to Latin America and raise therapy dogs to help people suffering from trauma. I think that tells you all you need to know about how big her heart is. Anna is a remarkable young woman, and she's been so rewarding to teach in classes. Congratulations, Anna Gibbons. Our next graduate is Savannah Schaefer. Savannah is a throwback from many decades ago. She may have more than a bit of flower child in her, but is certainly paying attention to what is happening around her. And we have no doubt she's going to make a positive difference in the world as she moves on from Emerson. Savannah is a deep thinker. She is often quiet in class, taking in all the information, considering different points of view, and examining how her thoughts and actions affect other people before letting us all know what she's thinking. We're always impressed with the maturity and depth of her ideas. After graduation, Savannah plans to take a gap year to live in Seattle before attending community college and then moving on to a four-year university where she'll study psychology. This all makes perfect sense because her dream job is that of a psychologist. All of the teachers and staff at Emerson know that this matches her caring personality. She's a thoughtful listener and everyone she interacts with leaves with the conversation with a genuine feeling that they were heard. In her free time, she likes to write poetry on a manual typewriter. Didn't we say she was a throwback? Her path at Emerson has been taking some interesting turns, but her perseverance has paid off and the future is in her hands. She would like to thank Andrew for his refreshing honesty, Stephanie for inspiring her interest in psychology, and Justin for his blend of comedy and kindness. Congratulations, Savannah Schaefer. Our next graduate is Aspen Biofell. Aspen can make any class fun, both appropriately and inappropriately. He has a wonderful sense of humor and can crack up both teachers and his classmates alike. Some days he would barricade himself in the corner, surrounded by a stack of chairs, on other days, he might try to catch a few minutes of sleep, but almost every day, Aspen was hungry. He has a special fondness for his art teacher, Evelyn's chewy bars, and looked forward to the day each month when the supply would be replenished. A very special quality of Aspen's is his ability to be a true friend. When someone was having a problem, Aspen was always there with a kind word and a listening ear to offer honest advice. He's truly someone that can be counted on. His compassion is evident in how he's able to relate his own struggles to those of his peers. School hasn't always been enjoyable for him, especially in his previous schools. However, Aspen built on his previous adversity and chose to work towards a new reality when he transferred to Emerson, where he found new friends and a good school community. He flourished and found that he was becoming happier and healthier. And he learns that he is also strong and smart and capable. As he looks forward to his upcoming college life, Aspen's emerging maturity and exceptional foresight are evidenced in a recent reflection from one of his classes. As college nears closer and closer, he wrote, I have recognized that there will be countless circumstances in which great stress will inhabit my life. However, I know I can tackle the challenges that college will dish out as I grow older. I am prepared and will conquer that challenge. I know 
that I will make something out of my life. No doubt there are great things in store. Congratulations, Aspen. Our next graduate is Marco Gomez. We've only had one abbreviated year to get to know Marco at Emerson. The quality that his teachers will remember most about him is that he always brought a bright smile to their classrooms. Every day, without fail, Marco shared his happy demeanor, optimistic attitude, and sometimes sarcastic wit with everyone at our school. Even at 7.30 in the morning, on the darkest and rainiest days, Marco and his group of friends could make our hallways feel happy and bright with their laughter and conversation. Dan Kaufman, one of our teachers, asked the students to explain how they would create their favorite vision for a future world that they wanted to inhabit. On presentation day, Marco revealed to the class his humorous plan to rid the world of unpleasant smells and obnoxious odors. Basically, his plan involved providing free breath mints and deodorants to those who needed in order to improve their oral hygiene and compensate for a missed shower or two. Marco's plan demonstrated his optimistic commitment to making the future world a more pleasant place for everyone. However, many students' altruistic plans and visions of an ideal future are quickly forgotten after graduation when the horrid burdens of college and real life intrude into their perfected reality. But that might not be the case with Marco. We know that he is seriously considering an opportunity to become an apprentice plumber, which would be an excellent way for him to build on his wonderful vision of a world free of those offensive odors and nasty smells that he despises so much. Dan's hope for the future is one where when his grandkids flush too much dental floss and too many Q-tips down the toilet, the plumber who steps to the house to fix that mess might somehow be Marco Gomez. Kind-hearted and witty, who graduated with the class of 2020. Congratulations, Marco Gomez. Our next graduate is Willow Hayes. Willow has high standards for herself. She always does what she thinks is right, even if it's uncomfortable. She cares for the people around her, even when they're making poor decisions. She always puts forth her best effort and she does it all with grace, intelligence, and dignity. Good enough is not good enough for Willow. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Her teachers know that when she turns in an assignment, it will be one of the best, and she will not turn it in until all of her formatives are checked off, and even if the teacher has given approval, that she has given her own approval. She loves to follow ideas wherever they lead. This makes her an excellent student and, at times, teacher. She is curious and truly tries to put herself in other people's shoes. She doesn't think anything is not worth trying to understand. When a classmate needs help, she's quick to offer what she has. She always thinks of others. Sometimes that's advocating for truth or equity while discussing an English class. Other times it's listening to a friend who is struggling behind the scenes in the Emerson Lounge also known as the bathroom. Willow appreciates that her parents view their job as a journey rather than a task and would like to thank them for preparing her for life by going with the flow and teaching her that all of her actions have consequences. She also loves to organize and puts those skills to use in helping others, whether it's Tracy's kitchen, Stephanie's bookshelves, or Evelyn's art closet. In fact, being organized is part of Willow's personal definition of success. Success, in my opinion, is feeling secure overall, but also having passion for what you do, making a difference, and being organized. She is very proud of turning her school life around. After a rocky start at another district high school, she transferred to Emerson where she got better grades and learned to love school. She's inspired by the words of Michelle Obama, success is only meaningful and enjoyable if it feels like your own, which Willow interprets to mean, if you don't try hard and you become successful, it's hard to feel like the success is your own. Putting all you have into something you're passionate about and succeeding at it is the most rewarding feeling. 
Congratulations, Willow. We're so proud of you. Our next graduate is Brooke Ives. Senior year was a little challenging for this graduate. Despite moving from her childhood home, the loss of a close family member, and working to save money to move out on her own, Brooke did not let herself get off track. Her well-established work ethic helped her keep her head up, stand tall, and make it to graduation. Brooke's steely determination and drive was never more evident than earlier this year when she wanted to go to Maui without her parents. She presented a proposal, argued her position, and refused to take no for an answer when she wanted to go. Brooke's teacher and advisor, Tracy, will primarily remember her for two things. One, her insatiable appetite, and two, the question that she always asked when presented with a recipe in cooking class. Do you have any chocolate to add to this? Watching this student take any recipe and make it into something with chocolate proved that she's creative, headstrong, and does not like to fail. Her math teacher, Justin, recalls running into her very often in Tracy's kitchen. She always had a kind word to share. Her teacher, Will, said, she's a badass. Her default setting is mellow, but she has that, I will straight up destroy you, simmering right below the surface. Brooke came to Emerson and found out she could be herself, people would accept her, and that she wasn't so bad at school after all, once she actually tried. After graduation, Brooke would like to pursue her dream of working with animals and is considering Washington State University's veterinary medicine program. Congratulations, Brooke Ives. Our next graduate is Cole Gossler. Cole began his journey with us during his freshman year as an unassuming guy with an incredibly deep mind and spirit. He has a solid inner strength, he's a loyal friend, and is protective of the most vulnerable ones around him. He is strong, sincere, trustworthy, caring, and simply down to earth. He has a fierce work ethic and a talent for mechanics that we all admire. Cole had to overcome many obstacles to graduate, but somehow, whatever life throws at him, he has a way of persevering and bouncing back. And over the last few years, he's been both a student and a full-time working man. High school hasn't always been easy for him, but that's what makes this moment even sweeter. Teachers love Cole and his classmates look up to him. He's very creative and talented and definitely not afraid of getting his hands dirty. His art teacher, Evelyn, recalls that he was always polite, respectful, and worked hard. He strove for perfection and persevered when things got tough. His art projects were often created with his love of cars in mind. Cole's psychology teacher, Stephanie, said that she always appreciated his patience with other students' nonsense. He could balance being patient, laughing at the ridiculousness, avoid getting angry, and was still able to enjoy the experience. Science teacher Dan added that he was also patient with other students in the garden when he seemed to be the only person who knew how to actually use the tools, while other kids were waving shovels around in the wind. Cole could get more done in 40 minutes than four other students would get done in four hours. Cole is quietly very appreciative of everyone who supported him at Emerson. He's been part of our family for a long time and he will be missed. Sometimes just for the simple things, like just how he can shoot the breeze with staff member anytime. This graduate has shown his independence, strength, and perseverance. He has demonstrated that he is more than ready for the next phase of his life. And we all feel so grateful to have been part of the journey. Congratulations, Cole Gosler. Our next graduate is Dahlia Godinez. Dahlia's graduation is a proud moment for all of us at Emerson High School. And we know we are sharing this achievement with many, many members of her family because Dahlia has always spoken about her love of family and how grateful she is to have had their support along her educational journey. 
Dahlia views all of her successes and challenges as aspects of a deep and meaningful connection to her family. A memorable example of this love and connection to her family happened in her senior core class focused on career planning. Dahlia was tasked with writing an essay to accompany a college scholarship application. Dahlia's first draft was beautiful. It showed a caring spirit and a commitment to helping others. But her teacher had to reject the first draft and ask her to rewrite it because it was all about her family, their hard work, and some of the obstacles they had overcome. The letter surely would have earned Dahlia's mother and father a scholarship. But her teacher had to remind her that the letter should be about her life, her goals, and her achievements. Dahlia truly sees herself as a reflection of her family, and this closeness is obvious not just to us, it's also clear to her global TikTok following because her family members are often the subjects of her viral social media videos. Dahlia has big dreams. Her role models are presidents and superstars. And what Dahlia respects in those individuals is how hard they've worked to achieve their life's goals. She admires them not just for what they have achieved, but how they have achieved it. Dahlia recognizes that tremendous achievements require a tremendous amount of hard work, focus, and energy. Dahlia has learned during her time at Emerson that the combination of love, gratitude, and big dreams, and commitment to hard work have led to happiness and success. I'm sure that Dahlia's graduation today will be the first of many life achievements yet to come. We're so proud to have played a role in her success. Congratulations, Dahlia. Our next graduate is Caroline Hahn. This young woman arrived at Emerson already mature for her age after living and working internationally as a fashion model. From the beginning, she was a strong student and a conscientious and independent worker with a quiet confidence and approachable demeanor. She takes pride in her work and she should, it's excellent. She has high standards for herself and those around her. She quickly became part of what she calls Emerson's safe and tight-knit community, making friends easily with her kindness and her subtle but fiercely sophisticated and deadpan sense of humor. Caroline also has a keen sense of fashion, less trendy and much more cosmopolitan than the typical high school student. She loves children and not just from afar. She gets down and dirty with the kids in our daycare and has also worked as a nanny. She appreciates the staff at Emerson for supporting her on the journey to high school graduation and for not only helping her discover how she learns best, but also encouraging a sense of curiosity and openness that she will carry with her forever. A perfect example of her commitment to learn new things can be seen in how Caroline is spending her quarantine time. During school closure, she's learning how to skateboard. Caroline would like to thank the Emerson staff for always being kind and welcoming. She especially appreciates her child development class for helping her decide to become a teacher. In the fall, she will attend Seattle University to study elementary education. We know she will become a highly skilled and beloved teacher whose style will inspire future generations lucky enough to find themselves in her classroom. Congratulations, Caroline Hahn. Our next graduate is Alana Campbell. Alana came to Emerson after spending time at another Lake Washington High School. When she first met with me as part of the intake and application process, I told her that she needed to start attending her classes at her other school to prove she was ready to make the changes necessary to be successful at Emerson. While she wasn't happy and it took a couple of months, she did it. And that's where the evolution of who we came to know as the Emerson version of Alana first became evident. This version of Alana is hardworking and smart, still sassy, but committed to doing what she needs to do to change her old habits so that she could experience school success more than she's ever before. This year, Alana enrolled in the nursing assistant program at Lake Washington Institute of Technology through the WANIC program. 
Her instructors there describe her as a natural for the field and a stabilizing force in a class that was sometimes a bit raucous. Alana loves to gossip, drive fast cars, and spend time with family and friends, especially her youngest niece who attended the Emerson daycare for a short time. Alana was like a celebrity every time she entered the daycare, where toddlers scrambled over one another to get the first hug in. Lori and Courtney, the daycare staff, were always happy to have her help. We'll remember Alana for her expert meme making, especially the one she made in English class about Hamlet. And while her attendance was sometimes a bit spotty, she was one of the elite few Emerson students that got personal wake-up calls from me. Her sarcasm and sass were very consistent. Congratulations, Alana. Our next graduate is Eric Hiller. Although gruff and standoffish when he first arrived at Emerson after multiple years of unpleasant and isolating school experiences, Eric warmed up to show us his kinder and gentler side pretty quickly. He came to Emerson a little defeated in the school department. He didn't think school was for him and was worried that Emerson would be just another place where he would fail. But boy, was he wrong. He persevered and found out that all he needed was the right support and commitment. When he started to get it, teachers were introduced to a young man who's low-key, down-to-earth, and recognized as one of the most committed employees at his job, characteristics that have awarded him the shift lead position at Jersey Mike's. After learning Emerson wasn't so bad, he started to open up and said one of the best things a student can say after coming to our school. Now I know that I'm smart. One of our teachers, Tracy, visited Eric at work one time, and he had the biggest smile she'd ever seen. And he made a pretty amazing sandwich, too. Outside of school, he loves attending Mariners games with his parents. And since the current baseball season is in quarantine, like the rest of us, Eric's been spending his time at home perfecting his cooking skills and hanging out with his family and beloved pets. He has a strong desire to continue his education and plans to follow two of his passions, both working on his VW GTI and working with animals. He's not exactly sure what he'll study first, but eventually wants to open his own business so that he can create a life that allows him to take care of his parents. We always suspected this caring side was part of Eric's core, and we're so glad we got to see it. Congratulations, Eric Killer. Our next graduate is Tristan Cole. Tristan arrived to Emerson, just a young, long-haired, six-foot-two young man. We've had the privilege to watch his metamorphosis into a mature, short-haired, six-foot-three young man. It's been a long journey, fraught with numerous adversities, such as trying to stay seated for 30 seconds at a time, never quite knowing if eating three McDouble sandwiches was going to be enough to sustain him through fifth period, or the daily struggle of trying to determine which pair of Supreme pajama bottoms would go best with a Gucci belt. The challenges have been many, yet this graduate has persevered through countless hours of sitting next to Will in Summit of Workshop, sitting next to Will in class, or even sitting beside Will at night school while on an extended break from his job at a restaurant down the street. Good times were always had by all. Now those times must come to an end so that this graduate can move on to bigger and better things. Despite his reluctance to demonstrate it regularly at school, this graduate can be a very hard worker, which he has proved by quickly rising through the ranks at his current job to become a store manager. At the rate he's going, we can only assume he'll be in charge of the entire West Coast pizza game in two to three years tops. He states he will take with him many fantastic memories from his time at Emerson, where he met new friends and teachers that helped him make big changes in his life. He will remember graduating from a school where he felt comfortable and safe to be himself. In his words, I hope one day I can see all my classmates together again and reminisce 
about all the fun times we had and all the laughs we shared. After all my time at Emerson, I'm really gonna miss my second family. We will miss him too and think that if he were here today to open one of his lunches lovingly packed by his mother, the note inside would say, congratulations, Tristan. Our next graduate is Sasha Kachadorian. Sasha has a gigantic heart and a smile just as big. She thrives on sincere relationships and destroying your local skate park. She started high school with some personal struggles, but she says that Emerson taught her to never give up. And she hates to leave Emerson so soon. In fact, she's threatened to reapply next year and start as a freshman. Not gonna happen. She takes care of her friends, classmates, and teachers, really everyone. She's grown up and matured in these last few years, but is still a little kid at heart. At one of the game nights hosted by ASB, she was the first ever to create an impromptu petting zoo, and then was seen pushing Savannah around the school in a garbage can, laughing and loving life the whole time. We hope she never loses that spirit. Tracy remembers the other students would always go to her with questions because she always understood the recipe and foods class. She loved all of her teachers, but when she was behind on an assignment or two, she was an incredibly dodgy kid. Some might call her a master avoider. Sasha fondly recalls her time at Emerson as every day being filled with joy and laughter. It's impossible to choose one special moment. Every teacher, student, and staff member has been nothing but kind and accepting. They all hold a very special place in my heart. I just hope that everyone knows how much of an impact they've had on my life. Sasha doesn't know exactly what she wants to do for a career, but will be sure that whatever she settles on makes her happy and affects the world in a positive way. Kind of like what she wrote in her English essay, where she said, People who are passionate about something are more likely to be successful because they enjoy what they do and are willing to put in the time and effort to do it. They also must have new ideas and ways of thinking about things to stand out and have their ideas be outstanding. We know she'll keep working to find the best life has to offer, starting with college at Lake Washington Institute of Technology. We've been so incredibly lucky to get to know Sasha. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Laura DeBorst. When Laura first came to Emerson, we weren't quite sure what to think. She had a very provocative vocabulary and she tended to use her artistic skills in not quite school appropriate ways. She also spent lots of time lying down, on tables, on chairs, and on the floor. She acted tough and gruff, but it didn't take long for us to discover that underneath the tough exterior was a caring and sensitive soul. Despite Laura's occasional shenanigans and sometimes wild commentary in class, she's matured into a hard worker both in and out of school. She took summative workshops seriously each session, making sure she passed all of her classes and refused to put up with her math teacher Justin's distractions. She was a great daycare worker and really enjoyed hanging out with the little kids. She's a talented artist and photographer with a good eye for design. Despite occasional lapses in judgment, such as calling into a team's video meeting while driving because she didn't wanna miss the connection with her teacher and classmates, we all appreciate the mature adult she's becoming and will remember all of the ways she kept us entertained. She is thankful to all of the people in her life, her family, friends, teachers, counselors, who have supported her in this journey thus far. Next year, she'll attend the Evergreen State College in Olympia, where she will no doubt put her artistic skills to good use. Congratulations, Laura. Congratulations to the Emerson High School Class of 2020.